Shooter to catch ready. Stay on. All right, guys, good boy 32 here, check it out. So uh, if you follow the channel, you know that uh, we're getting ready to go down to Frostproof, uh, Florida to shoot the USPSA Multi-Gun Nationals. We got X-Ring, Rick is your six cover, and Pops Quest. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You got Keith Garcia down there, Jerry Mitchell looks down there. I think Lena's gonna be shooting. A lot, a lot of cool people. So what, what's the purpose of this video? Well, I wanted to go ahead and highlight to you this guy right here. Uh, in three gun events or any shooting event, uh, <laughs> part of the fun is just looking at some of these carts that come out there and the makeups and what all they got going. I tell you what, man, I'm hoping that if they have a uh, cart show, well, this guy right here is going to uh, hopefully be one of the better ones. Well, anyway, uh, Rob did his video a few minutes ago and I just finished up this guy this morning and I'm really excited about it. In the past, I had one of those little Walmart uh, wagons my kids decided to go ahead and use it as a uh, horse carriage. And uh, uh, let's just say this, they were running up and down the field and uh, bent the wheels on him. So I was running through Academy Sports the other day and I, I'd seen these in the past. And this is like an extra large cart. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy that thing just so I can build a new cart out of it. Now I did a video in the past, I'll put the link down below on my three gun cart and what it consisted of. Kind of wanted to simplify things a little bit more, used a lot of the same parts and pieces, and we'll go through those parts and pieces here real quickly. But first what I wanted to do is show you basically what we have. We've got a big extended pull handle right here. It is collapsible. The nice thing about a cart and the system I have is I can, this will fit in the back seat of my car. Strollers are really cool, but they uh, don't collapse to the point where I need them to with all the other stuff that's on them. Uh, we've got three ammo cans in here. I've got my pistol case, a nice Ozark Trail cooler, which uh, in any shooting competition, I'm going to be bringing my own food, my own water, uh, Gatorade, whatever. You definitely want to stay hydrated as much as possible. And one of the coolest things also is I incorporated this little deal here. And like I said, we'll go through all the parts and pieces here in a minute, but a table. And this all collapses down, but what I wanted to do was be able to have a little work table right here because if you come over here and you can reload your mags just like this and you have something available. Now down at Frostproof, from what I understand, they have tables, they have uh, ice water, they have shelter. You don't necessarily have to worry about that. Uh, one of the other things that I also have are these two uh, clamps. One's on this side, one's on this side. This is my shotgun and this is a very neat way of securing the shotgun in here. Also the flag is visible, but I'm able to put the shotgun back in here, bring it here and break these clamps down. And I'll go ahead and put the link. I got these on Amazon uh, about a year or so ago. But what this gives me the ability to do is I can store my guns. Now here's the rule. <laughs> you from the tip of your barrel cannot exceed more than three feet out. That's the angle of the angle of the dangle. So this one right here is about 18 inches. Same with my rifle right here. So from here to here cannot exceed more than 36 inches. Pretty simple stuff. Now, I know we got shade down there, but one of the things that I am actually gonna bring is my umbrella. This is an eight footer because sometimes you go to a, a uh, three gun event and you don't have any shade. So what this does, is it provides shade. It also provides temporary shelter. If you get some rain, it will cover all my equipment. And also I can sit back here and work on my table. Nice place to mount like a fan right here. So that's basically it. So what I want to do now is bring the camera in. I'm going to show you each individual piece and I'll give you a brief description on what's going on while the dogs run around here. Here we go. Stand by. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is just give you guys a real quick rundown on while I'm holding the camera. So you're going to be able to see all this stuff. So you can see the rifles held in place with those real neat alligator clamps. And those are made by a company called Coal Pin, K-O-L-P-I-N. And it clamps right down on the rifle and then down here on the bottom section, and I am going to run the BT-53 silo. I've got a piece of PVC with some uh, pipe clamps 
on there. And I, one of the things I just don't want to have happen is these things come loose. And this guy is really, really on there. Does a great job of holding. Now, when we take this thing down, I'll show you all the cool parts and pieces. But as you can see, what I did was I built out that back section. And then the table is held in place right there. Okay, so let's move over here. You can see the tabletop. <laughs> I monitored those corners. Yeah, I know. I did it. But it's really, really nice. And then I've ma made some of this countertop or the uh, drawer materials and placed it on there. You can see the same thing over here with the shotgun. It's held in place. And there's a PVC. Works perfect. All I did for the umbrella was I just had a tube picked in there, went to the beach last year, and we were able to get this umbrella. Let me go ahead and get rid of this thing because it's killing the light. But you can see it just clamps in there and that whole thing goes there. Now, really cool deal about this particular card is it does have built-in little bat, little things right here. So I can keep mags in there all the way around. Now there's my ammo. <laughs> Here's my belt. You guys know about that. We've already talked about that in the past. But there's a bunch of 5.56. Five, that one's empty. You gotta put 9mm in there. There's a whole bunch of uh, shotgun shells. And we got some slugs somewhere around here. But anyway, uh, yeah, people were asking me where the latte holders were. They're right there. Very cool. But as you can see, there it is. The big fat tires, that actually makes it easy to pull around. It's not that hard to pull around. It's just the same, it's the same amount of weight as we had on the other cart, except now I got the big fat wheels on it and it's actually easier. But look at that. Nice work table for loading. There's the back portion of it. Now what I did was to keep this table a little bit more stable is I put this ratchet strap down here, tied into that loop. But all the way around, that's it. Now let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff out and I'm going to show you the insert that I made with all the stuff from Home Depot. Hold on. All right, so now that we got it emptied out, I wanted to show you the inside of this thing. So basically what it is, is you have a base piece right here. And I've got that same material lining it. Now, the only reason I've got those little areas right there is because I needed something for my cooler to sit on. But also when you fold it down, there's a reason there's a space in between that this lay thing will lay flat. And what we'll do is I'll go ahead and I will take it out and come on, focus in. <laughs> there we go. And I'll take it out. Now, with the rifles not in there, you can see how these things attach to the uh, side piece there. And what that does, it just gives me a stable platform to make sure that my firearms don't go anywhere. There's the tabletop. And I think all together with the cart and the parts and pieces, I've got like 170 bucks in this whole thing, which yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, having the umbrella and a tabletop to do, any, to, to do your business on is the most important thing. Let's go ahead and put the camera back over here and I'll break it down for you, stand by. Okay, so basically what happens is you got these two little pieces here and we had to pull those out and you can yank these pieces off here and here, but on both sides. Very simple little process. But what it does is it gives me the ability, one, is to go ahead and uh, collapse this thing down so it fits in the back seat of my car. Let's go ahead and put that there. Now, what happens is this whole thing lifts up. Well, let me get rid of this part. As you can see, just like that. So I'll take everything out. But what happens now is I remove this little platform piece here. This folds down and then this folds flat. So what happens is that's the whole backside of your cart right here. Then we take the cart itself, the chokes, there it goes, there's that there, there. And then it just collapses up. Now I got sawdust in my eyes. So what I have here is the cart in itself and this guy right here 
all collapsed up in a package just like this. <laughs> but anyway, you can see what's going on here. To put it back together again, all we're doing is we're going to take it out of the car, put it together like this. I'm getting ready for that Florida humidity. And we bring it in here like this, set this in place. Bring it up like that, put our board in here. And it's kind of pressure fit into place. We take our uh, ratchet strap here and here. Put that in there. Set the cooler in place. Got your table all set up. Pistol ready to go. Take our little claw things here. Put that in, angle it just right. Put your pins in, lock that into place. Same thing over here. Put your pins in, lock them into place. These have a release button here and here, which is really nice. This is the rifle setup we're gonna be running. I've got the silo, the BT-53 BT from Atlas on here, and I'm also using the QD thing from uh, Kinetic Development Group. So if I need to, I can re I have to start the competition with this on here. Uh, I can move it, but I can never take it off. So once you start with it, you have to shoot with it. So there you go. We're in. Same thing with the shotgun. Boom. And guys, that's it. And we're ready to rock and roll. Well, anyway, that's it. Really looking forward to a great competition, hanging out with the guys. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Team train wreck, as always, we do have fun. And I think that's the momentum rolling into this thing is that we're gonna have a blast doing what we're doing. So uh, basically three inch plywood, or I, I think half inch plywood, uh, I bought it in the 24 by uh, 48 inch sections. Total dimensions of this thing is 36 inches long and 17 and a half inches wide. Um, used a brad gun to put all this stuff together. Door hinges, they worked out great. PVC pipe plus a big old umbrella. Hold on. And having the big umbrella, man. That's the cool part. Don't know if we'll need that down there but uh, I am gonna bring it just in case. So with that being said, this is the uh, battle wagon. Uh, we call it the freedom wagon, how about that? A lot of fun. Let's go to 132. Uh, we always end them like this. Uh, God bless America. God bless the red, white, and blue. God bless those men and women in uniform who support our constitution and, uh, and doing our job the right way. If you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And that's it. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. It is hot. It's like 93 degrees and 100% humidity right now. It's nuts. But I think we're going to be dealing with a lot of that down there in Florida. Y'all be good. See ya.